We have a 1988 Chevrolet 4.3 liter. We're going to go through the steps in replacing the water pump. Before performing a cooling system repair, it's recommended to flush the cooling system prior to installing any new parts. With the cooling system flushed and drained, we'll disconnect the negative battery cable before beginning the repair. Remove the seven upper shroud retaining bolts. Before starting your repair, you always want to be sure you're working with a cool engine. And remove the upper shroud. Loosen the fan bolts and remove the drive belt. It's always a good idea to inspect the drive belt, making sure it's not damaged in any way that would hinder its reuse. Finish removing the fan clutch and pulley. Check the fan clutch for oil leaks or loose bearing. Disconnect the lower radiator hose and remove the four water pump bolts. As you remove the water pump, there may be some residual coolant. Be sure and capture this and dispose of properly. Thoroughly clean the water pump gasket surface, making sure to not allow any debris into the water jacket area. You will be required to remove the pulley studs from the old water pump and install under the new water pump. Apply a light coat of gasket sealer to the water pump. Then install the gaskets and apply a light coat of sealer to the gasket. Install the water pump and torque the retaining bolts to 20 foot pounds. It's always a good idea to clean the inside of the pulley. This will keep from having any imbalance issues. Install the lower radiator hose. Attach the water pump pulley and fan to the water pump. Install the drive belt. Make sure the belt wear indicator is within specification and reattach the upper shroud. With the repair complete, reattach the negative battery cable. Fill the system with a 50-50 blend of coolant and distilled water. It's a good idea to test your pressure cap. A faulty pressure cap can lead to an inefficient cooling system. If you do not have access to a pressure tester, these are available at your local parts store. Start the vehicle and turn the cabin heater on high. This will help bleed the air out of the system. Allow the engine to reach operating temperature and check for leak. Shut the engine off and allow it to cool completely. Top the recovery tank off to manufacturer specs. 